Apple Watch Series 7 review. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Eric, and hopefully everybody liked that little introduction that I made. Uh, shout out to Casey Neistat, a true vlogging pioneer of YouTube uh, for the inspiration. But judging from the introduction, everybody can kind of assume what the surprise is going to be about. But before we get into that, let's get into an unboxing ASMR. Roll it. So here it is, the new Apple Watch Series 7. Aside from watching the September Apple event about the Apple Watch, I haven't really gone into any detail about it. I haven't really looked on the internet. I haven't done any of my own research. I've never even owned an Apple Watch up until this point or any smartwatch up until this point. I've seen the previous designs though. And here I'm bringing out both the Apple Watch Series 3, the Apple Watch Series 6, and also the smaller 41 millimeter version of the Apple Watch Series 7, courtesy of my girlfriend Grace and our friend Ty. And I can already see that there are some crucial differences physically comparing each model. One key difference I've noticed right off the bat is the amount of real estate that each face owns on each watch. As mentioned before from the September Apple event, the display size for the Series 7 is about 20% bigger than the Series 6 and over 50% bigger than the Series 3. And when you have each watch to compare each other to, you can really kind of already see the difference. And similarly with the iPhone, it seems like each year, the faces, the displays are getting bigger and bigger. I wonder what year it'll be when we're actually just physically wearing an iPhone on top of your wrist. Apple also mentioned a curved around edge for the Series 7 that is a new feature. And checking it out now, I was afraid that the curvature would create a glare or make it difficult to see the time or screen. But as you can see here, it seems to be able to do that just fine. Another unique feature that the Series 7 has is now that it is IP6X certified, dust resistant certified. And it's not saying that the other watches could not get that certification. Apple just never got them tested. And the most crack resistant front crystal that Apple has ever had. And quoting from MKBHD himself doesn't really mean much because he actually plays Ultimate Frisbee with his Apple Watch Series 6 and has never really gotten a scratch on it. But I guess the extra safety net is always a plus, right? The Series 7 still has swim proof all the way down to 50 meters underwater, which is something both the 6 and the 3 had certified. It also still has the blood oxygen level tester, the ECG or fall detection that the Series 6 had. Oh, one more thing that I forgot to mention. The Apple September event also mentioned that the new Apple Watch Series 7 is about 70% brighter indoors. Neat. An exclusive thing that I personally liked about the Series 7 now that I've had about a week to mess around with it is the exclusive faces that the Series 7 has. One of them is actually exclusive to only the Nike edition Apple Watch Series 7s. It can tell time, it has your rings on there, and it also has the weather and also the date and what day it is. Another exclusive watch face that is only available to the Series 7 is Contour. And it's you can you've seen it in the September Apple event. It's the face where it kind of the the numbers kind of bleed over the edge of the screen and it gives us like nice little contour. It looks cool, but I like the Nike exclusive kind of modular duo exclusive faces for the Apple Watch because 
I like my, I like all my information on one screen. It has more information pertaining to me. So I think for now, I'm going to stick with the Nike exclusive watch faces. Oh, I forgot to mention, obviously with my new Apple Watch Nike edition series seven, it comes with Nike exclusive things. It comes with a bunch of different Nike exclusive watch faces and also the pre-downloaded Nike run app. So it doesn't really come with a whole lot of extra perks, but something is better than nothing. Right? So let's take a moment and put it on my wrist and see how it feels. Now, just for reference, this is the 45 millimeter version. There is a slightly smaller 41 millimeter version that I have here for those with a smaller wrist size. Uh, first impressions, it looks like my wrist size is a good fit for the 45 millimeter version. It's not too heavy uh, and it feels similar to how a normal watch feels. I was actually a bit wary for it being a little too big. I do have a smaller wrist size than the average person, but I think it fits perfectly on my wrist. Not too big, not too small. Perfect, right? And now for one of the reasons why I got an Apple Watch Series 7, FOMO. Okay, let's be honest. Uh, all my friends up in this point had a Series 3 to a Series 6. And so I was kind of missing out with the fitness competition. And I've always been curious about the rings and the fitness competitions amongst friends. So, so I've had the Apple Watch for about a week now. And I gotta say, it definitely makes me work out more. Uh, I see... I, I see my friends competing online. I see my friends recording different fitness completions, different workouts that they finished. And I'm just like, damn, I, I need to go outside and complete those rings. I need to get that. I need those calories burned just so I can compete with my friends. For instance, I'm actually already in a competition with my girlfriend. We're competing in a seven day event and I'm already losing like two out of the like four days that we competed. So I need some catching up to do. If you see me running around the neighborhood at like 10, 11 PM, just know I'm probably trying to get my rings filled. That's so <laughs> Sorry if I'm being too loud. Another reason why I've decided to get the Series 7 is that I've already enjoyed having different things on my wrist, whether it's my Bond Touch that I share with my girlfriend or my two MBMT movement watches or just like any hair ties or something. I've always been attracted to having something dangling off my wrist. Um, on a side note though, movement, if you could sponsor me and send me more watches, that would be fantastic. Hold up, maybe, maybe when I'm famous, thanks. So I figured why not give myself another timepiece, but also have one that can track and compete with friends, you know? Other cool features that the Series 7 exclusively has is the new QWERTY keyboard. It also comes with the swipe function, but after about a week of trying it out, it's not the best. Like sure, you can type out little messages here and there, but overall, it's a hassle to write. It's a hassle to type out. When I'm swiping and the algorithm still doesn't know exactly what word I'm trying to say, it screws up and the backspace is just way too close to the send button. And so I've had a few instances where I've sent incomplete or just illegible, unreadable text messages to people. And I'm like, dang it, I can't like, why not just text on the phone, you know? And while I've been diligent as to not send out incomplete messages, it still happens, even if I'm not trying to. I can see that it probably will become a problem in the future. And since the Series 7 has more real estate on the display, a bunch of the apps have actually changed as well. A lot of the apps on the watch are now a little easier to use. Something like a calculator, which has, be, has been a problem for users with the Apple Watch Series 3 or the Series 6, it's just that much better to users. And so something like the calculator, which I never really thought I would use on my Apple Watch Series 7, is actually more convenient now when I need to figure out a small calculation. And since it's slightly bigger than the Apple Watch Series 6, it's a, just that much easier to use. I've also been using the Spotify app a lot. Um, when I'm on short runs around my neighborhood or I'm on the bus going to work and I can't just pull out my phone on the go, Spotify actually makes it easy on the Apple Watch so that I can just change to the new song, change to another song without actually pulling up my phone and having to choose or pick. And it's just one more of those like mildly convenient things that Apple Watch thinks about for their users. Those are the apps that I can see myself using on a semi-daily basis along with the fitness app and it also seems like apple is actually listening to their customers critiques um sally who's a phd student or actually as of this time actually just got her phd 
congratulations Sally. She actually told me that there's a new feature with the new iOS update for the Apple Watch that you can now use your Apple Watch to unlock your iPhone. Being that we are in the middle of a pandemic and in public spaces, most places require you to wear a mask, it's really hard to open your, your iPhone with Face ID because half your face is covered. And so Apple Watch actually added a special feature now and it's not exclusive to the Apple Watch Series 7. This feature will come in all Apple Watches. So just a heads up, update those watches if you want this feature. But now you can unlock your phone with your Apple Watch. As long as you go into settings, turn on the open with Apple Watch feature on the iPhone. Now you can open up your iPhone with your Apple Watch in public with a mask on. You don't have to worry about pulling down your mask or typing in your password. So it's just another convenience that Apple has provided for their users. Nice. It's also definitely a sneaky way that Apple has uh, come up with to kind of drop that sub subliminal message into your brain like, oh, maybe I do need the Apple Watch after all. So now that I've gotten to try the Apple Watch, do I really recommend it? If you're someone who is trying to get more fit or is someone who is already in the process of being fit, I think I recommend the Apple Watch. It doesn't, I don't think it's necessary to get the Apple Watch Series 7 or you can get any of the Apple Watches. I think that the fitness feature for Apple Watch is pretty unique and the competition acts aspect with friends is definitely something that will help motivate you to push yourself further through your limits giving that 110 percent as they say now if you're someone who's just kind of going through fomo and just wants an apple watch i mean sure by all means i'm not judging you should definitely get one if you want to but i definitely think that it's the apple watch is definitely used way more for the fitness apps than for actually telling time. If you want to tell time, just get a normal watch. It's no one is judging you. No one will judge you for not having an Apple Watch, you know? So the final conclusion, I've grown to love my Apple Watch. It's a positive inclusion to my life. I get to compete with friends and family members, and I can definitely see myself consistently using this for, for the rest of my life. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. Stay safe out there and why not hit that subscribe and notification button if you want, if you want. Bye. Do I tell you how to live your life? No. Give me that. Doesn't this look good? It's Buffalo and Hawaiian.